Okay, we're working through some more examples of converting repeating decimals to fractions. And here's our first example, right? 6.36 repeating as a fraction. And the 3 and the 6 repeat there. So I start off with a variable. I'll call it x. And I say x is equal to that. So x equals 6.36 repeating. And there are two digits that repeat right here. So I multiply this x, or I multiply both sides by 100. And on the left, I have 100x. And on the right, I have this number with the decimal moved to the right 2. And so that gives me 636.36. And those decimals repeat forever. And then I subtract. 100x minus x will equal this number minus that number. So I'll write that. I'll write 100x minus x, and I think it helps to write them out vertically like that, is going to equal 636.36, and I'll write this out as a repeating decimal like that. That's this number, and then I need to do minus this number. So that's minus 6.3636, and so on. And notice again that I've written this out carefully. My decimal points are lined up vertically. And then my, my tenths and hundredths and thousandths and so on, all of those are lined up vertically. And when you line them up carefully, it's pretty easy to see that when you subtract, in this case, all of these are going to get lopped off. So I'm just going to cross those out. And I'm left with, on the left side, that's easy, 100x minus x is 99x. And on the right, I have 636 minus 6, and that's 630. And then from here, it's trivial. I'll just divide both sides by 99, and the 99's cancel, and I'm left with x is equal to 630 over 99. And that's my answer. I can reduce that a bit. Both of those are divisible by 3. That's pretty easy to do in your head. Uh, divide the top and the bottom by 3, and that gives me 210 over 33. And those are both divisible by 3 again. I can divide 210 by 3, and I get 70, and divide 33 by 3, and I get 11. So that's reduced to simplest terms there. 6.36 repeating is 70 over 11. And again, I can check that on, on the calculator. Actually, divide 70 by 11. And here it is. Do 70 divided by 11. And I should get 6.36 repeating. And there we go. 6.3636 and so on. And it rounded the last digit there, but that's fine. We're correct. 70, uh, 70 divided by 11 is our answer. Here's our next example write point one two seven one two seven one two seven and so on as a fraction. So here we go. We say x equals zero point one two seven one two seven one two seven. X equals the original number that we're given, the thing that we're trying to convert to a fraction. Now notice that this pattern that repeats is a block of three digits. So that means we need to take this x and multiply it by a thousand. So on the left, I have 1,000x, and I multiply the right side by 1,000 too. That means moving the decimal to the right three places. So on the right side, I have 127.127127, and those 127s continue to repeat. And now to get to my answer, I subtract. 1,000x minus x will equal this number minus that number. So let's write that. Let's write 1,000x minus x on the left, and that will equal this number minus this number. And let's write that out carefully. Let's write 127.127127, and so on, minus this number. And that's 0.127127 and so on. And again, when you do this, be careful to get your decimal points lined up vertically 
and all these other digits lined up nicely vertically, your, your tenths, hundredths, thousandths, and so on. And when you do that, it's just easier to see what cancels out. And in this case, all these decimal digits cancel out. And I'm left with, on the left side, 1000x minus x is 999x, and on the right, I have 127. So, to finish the problem, I just divide both sides by 999. And on the left, those all cancel out. And that leaves me with x equals 127 over 999. And here's one more example. Write 17.4818181 and so on as a fraction. The same technique we've been using here continues to work. X is equal to the number that's given. So X is equal to 17.4818181 and so on. Now the thing to note is how many digits repeat. I have a 818181. The block of digits that repeats is two digits. So I need to multiply my left side here by 100. So I get 100x on the left. And of course, if I multiply the left side by 100, I multiply the right side by 100. And that means moving the decimal to the right two places. So the right side becomes 1748.1818 and so on. And now I need to set up the subtraction. And it's not quite as easy as the others, but it's not too hard if you just set it up carefully. 100x minus x on the left, I'll write that. 100x minus x. And on the right side, I'm going to have this number minus that number. And I'm going to write that out neatly. So I get 1748.1818 and so on, minus this number up here. And write it out neatly with the digits lined up properly. That's 17.4818 and so on. Those digits repeat. And then I could subtract. And again, if you have your, your decimal points lined up and all your digits lined up in columns properly, you can see some things get lopped off of each of these two numbers when I subtract. You can see this pattern here, the 8, 1, 8, and that pattern repeats. And right beneath it is the same pattern. When I subtract, those are going to cancel out. The 8, 1, 8, and all of the digits after that. Remember, that's the same digits, 8, 1, 8, 1, 8, 1, 8, and so on. And down here, it's the same thing, 8, 1, 8, 1, 8, 1, 8. And they, they go on and on, and they all get subtracted away when I actually do this subtraction right here. So what I'm left with is 1748.1 minus 17.4. And so let's subtract this. Over here, uh, I'm going to borrow, make that a 7. And 11 minus 4 is 7. I have a decimal point. 7 minus 7 is 0. 4 minus 1 is 3. And I have my 1 and my 7. And on the left, I have 99x. So 99x equals 1730.7. So x is going to be... 1730.7 over 99. And to make this a rational number, I need an integer over an integer. So I'm going to multiply the top and the bottom by 10, and that gives me 17,307 divided by 99, divided by 990. And it might not be obvious to you but both of these numbers right here are divisible by 3. And when we divide 17,307 by 3, we get 5,769. And the 990 on the bottom, that's easier. When we divide that by 3, we get 330. And again, it might not be, ob be obvious, but both of those are divisible by 3 again. And if I divide the top and the bottom by 3, I get 1923 over 110. And let's check this real quick. 1923 
1923 divided by 110. And there it is, 17.4818181 and so on. So that's the correct answer. So there you have it, converting repeating decimals to fractions using this technique.